Okay, let's just have a, a quick wander around the heart. Um, in simple terms, I'm going to draw the, a very stylized heart here. Heart is split into two. This bit down the middle is called a septum. It's a nice thick wall. Um, we'll come back to septum later on when we talk about single circulatory systems. And it's split into four chambers, which are labelled like this. It appears to be back to front. The left is on the right and the right is on the left. That's because we're trying to look at it as if as if we're looking at someone face on. So we've got the atrium, left atrium, and the ventricle. Plural of atrium is atria. Okay. Um, and in very simple terms, blood goes into the atria and it's squeezed out from the ventricles. Okay. That's the simple version. Now, it maybe gets a bit confusing when we start using colours. Remember that the, the blood and the veins aren't actually blue. They're much more... Well, there we go. It's a nice kind of combination. It's probably more like the difference between um, arterial blood being that red and vein blood being a little bit more of a purple colour. It's certainly not blue. Don't worry about why veins are blue. If you want to look it up, it's quite interesting, but not to worry. Um, the sequence of a heartbeat. I'm going to do this um, at the heart cycle. I'm going to use this sort of simple drawing again. So let's have our heart, and we're going to start off with everything relaxed. I'm just going to label one, uh, <laughs> one side of it, sorry about that. Um, we start off with everything is relaxed. The next step is that the atria at the top are going to squeeze. Now if I can draw this, I'm very good at this. Let's just draw them a bit smaller. So in step two, the atria squeeze. So they contract. Okay, so that's the top two. They squeeze. So any blood that's flowing into there gets squeezed down. Both sides are doing this at the same time. Step three, if I can manage to draw this. Oh, that's a terrible drawing, never mind. You, you'll get the idea. The ventricles, the two on the bottom, will contract. And this will squeeze blood out. So the ventricles are contracting, the blood gets squeezed out into the uh, the various blood vessels, which I'll come to in a second. And finally, step four, we're back to the beginning, where both the ventricles and the atria relax, and blood is now starting to come back into the atria, um, and then we're back to step one. So step one, just to run through it again, step one, blood is filling up in the atria, Step two, the atria squeeze it down. Step three, the ventricles contract and squeeze it out. And in step four, we're back to the ventricles have relaxed, so we're all relaxed again. So relax, contract, contract, relax. Okay, if we wanted to put down, um, that's where the atria uh, are relax uh, contracting, sorry, and that's where the ventricles are contracting. We'll come to uh, the different blood vessels. I think I'll do it on a different sheet because I've gone quite big on here. Um, the quick and easy tip for remembering, if you can't quite remember which one's which, here's our heart again. Um, ventricles pointing down, atria are pointing up. I did say I'd mention um, this part, the septum as well. What the heart does, I kind of found a bit of space, um, it's what we call a double circulatory system. Blood gets pushed around the body, and as it goes back, it goes through all the bits of organs and cells and tissues and so on, and it uses up, tell you what, I will use blue here. It uses up the um, oxygen in the blood, picks up carbon dioxide, so deoxygenated blood flows back to the heart. It then is squeezed out around the lungs. Whoops, is the right colour. So it gets squeezed out from the ventricle to the lungs where it picks up oxygen, releases carbon dioxide, and then it comes back to the heart. Ooh. Nice and oxygenated. So we've got this double system of circulation. Okay. Now, we'll talk about the difference between arteries and veins in, uh, in another video, but that's what it means by double circulation. When you are in the womb, you are not using your lungs because you're not breathing. So what happens there is, um, in the middle of the heart, so let's draw a new one, in that septum, that dividing line there's a hole like that and so blood will come in from one side and just go straight through so you're, you're just squeezing it around once and that's called a uh, single circulatory system okay, you're basically doing that at the moment of birth when you're born that hole will close up occasionally it doesn't 
um, and that's known as a hole in the heart. It's a very common um, condition for newborn babies to have, can be very dangerous, but it's quite easy to treat and a lot of children will have that um, done pretty soon after birth.